What is going on people, my name is Taz and welcome back to the Gunner Lectures channel. Today we're going to be trying out the brand new Windows 12, or is it? Okay, it's not Windows 12. We're going to be trying out a Windows bootleg called Windows Stas, created by the one and only Enderman. So without further ado, let's just get started. Now I did try and install this on bare metal, I tried it on my mum's ThinkPad X220, I tried it on that pink crappy netbook, and I also tried it on my old server. But none of those computers are from the XP era, they're from the Windows 7 era. Not to mention Windows XP has a bunch of different builds and they're not all compatible with each other because some of them are made for different instruction sets, some are 32 bits while others are 64 bit. It's a mess. I wanted to do it on bare metal because I figured it would be a lot more interesting, but I failed and eventually I just gave up. I guess if I had an old Pentium 4 system, it would probably work, but I don't unfortunately, and Anyway, that's enough rambling from me, we're going to get started and install this. This is called Windows Stas, or it's spelled C-T-A-T, -T, but I'm guessing they're meant to be Cyrillic characters. So um, without further ado, let's begin. Uh, press any key to boot from CD. Yep. Dangerous for your brain. I bet it is. Apologise if I sound a bit weird. I might have a cold. I might not. I'm not too sure. Windows Stas Setup by Chinodu BB. Chinodu BB. Indoors Executive. And. It looks like the developers had an aneurysm while creating this setup, so, oh well. The position you tried to, yes, whatever, delete, yep. Gonna do unpartition space. This is better but worse than ext, this means you click that. Bit too fat for you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the top one, it's a... Uh, Please wait while set up. Oh, I can't use that file language on YouTube. I mean, I've done it before, but whatever. It's taking its time, isn't it? Ah. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting, so I'll probably speed up the footage a wee bit. Uh, hopefully this doesn't crash. It probably will. Um... If it does, then rip me. It's definitely taking its time, I must say. Hmm. I'm going to let this run in the background. Might try and set up another one, just in case this one fails. So it's Windows 12, well, Windows Stas, as, like I said. Do we have Windows XP Vista? Include end of life operating systems. Maybe that's where I went wrong earlier. Okay, we seem to be making progress. We'll just come back here. Setup program randomly decided to interrupt the copying process. Okay, so we are finally making some real progress. Please wait while setup initializes your Windows status configuration. Save and configuration. Okay. Restart the computer. Happy days. Four, did you just see that? Look at that boot screen. An exciting new look. Try the new best Super SAS experience. Windows Stas. Uh, as you can tell, so, um, they put a lot of money into this marketing, so uh, we should appreciate that. I have no idea. What I don't know what that means. The thing is, I can read Cyrillic, but I don't speak Russian, so I have no idea what any of this says. Uh. Okay, so we've reached the next part of the setup. Hey, I thought this was Windows Stas. I've been scammed. Oh well, we'll just continue. I'll put a silly name, because I can't read it anyway. Product key. Product key, I've got to activate this. Oh my. Oh, I can actually skip this. Uh, I'm not going to set a password, we don't need passwords. 
passwords are stupid. And now to pick my time zone. And yeah. Okay, now to pick my time zone. And yeah, this is pretty much where I live. So that will do. I have to say, the installation process of this is really slow, but I guess that's to be expected. You know, you can't rush a fine piece of art, as, well, artist would say. Fun fact, this ISO is so strange that I couldn't even write it to a USB flash drive using Rufus because Windows thought it was a virus. I don't, get, I don't know why they'd say that. I mean, it's quite clearly an authentic Microsoft product, so I think the developers of Rufus, or I think maybe Windows Defenders, just weird, so... Because this is clearly an official Microsoft product, like, I don't know why Microsoft are getting so confused about this, like, come on Microsoft, do better. I just, I just want to install the latest and greatest version of Windows, you know? 2,000 years later. Okay, so we are finally rebooting. Any minute now. Um... I have to manually reboot. Hopefully not. Oh, there we are. Yeah, boys! Look at that. Look at that. Four. Have they just deleted all the fonts? Who is this uh, very cool looking guy? There we are. Echo Bro, welcome to the new Stas Windows. Gracias por zero of Windows Stas. And Renderman. Yep, I'm going to press any keys to continue. We've got um, Microsoft. We've got Microsoft Paint. Because um, of course we do. I'm going to draw Enderman because um, why not? Because why not? It makes sense to. Um, don't have much color selection in this old version of paint. Is it like that or that? I think it's like that. That looks, that seems more sensible. Um, yeah, look at that. So we've got, ah, uh, it's lagging a bit. But I think that's more to do with, I think that's more to do with Vert Manager, than this magnificent operating system. Oh, failed. I always forget these little bits. There we are. Let's draw little Minecraft block. Core. Like that. Uh, yeah, that'll do. I'm, I'm gonna save this. I save this to my documents. I'm gonna call it art because it is. Oh, what? I can't. What's the button? I can't save it. Or do I have to press enter? Yeah, there we go. Got a notepad. Oh, we actually do have fonts. That's cool. What fonts do we have? I could just say something uh, quite cool. I can write my own little articles, you know, Notepad, like revolutionary program. The fact we have software besides Notepad is just disgusting. Like, we shouldn't. Notepad should be the only program to ever exist. Like, if your computer's doing anything else besides Notepad, it's, it's too bloated, man. You need to. Okay, I didn't know what I put for that. That name will do. Windows Stas. Yeah, boys. I th yeah, this is the display section. I can't actually tell. Uh, this isn't native resolution, but it's good enough, I guess. I was expecting a bit of bloatware to come, but no, there isn't any. That's quite sad, honestly. I, I wanted something cool to look at. Okay, let's go back to themes. Okay, I've only got a classic style, so no lunar or anything. So I can't even read this. Try the next one.
Oh my god. What have I done? I can't even... I can't even go down now. Oh, so I've got to just use the keyboard. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. What's happened? Let's uh, log off. See if I can undo my mistake. I, I can't get over this. Who who is this guy? Can uh, can someone let me know? Thing is, it probably is someone famous. I'm just too much of a noob to know who that is. Okay, so you sort of have to log out to um set the theme incorrectly. That's interesting. Okay, this is just comically large. What else do we have? I can't even tell what I can't even tell what this is. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them. Okay, I've seen that one. Okay, I've just got a bit of text swiveling out there. <laughs> I can't get over how my recent. Maybe I have to log off again. I've just broken it completely now. Okay, so that was Windows Stats for you guys. Um, what do I think of it? On a scale from 1 to 10, I rate it a 12 because it's better than Windows 11.